Hi, I'm Marcus and I play the Shakuhachi and I also play Taiko. And as part of playing Taiko, I also play the Shinobue for my Taiko group. I recently published a video on the Shinobue giving just a general overview of the instrument. And in my introduction to Shakuhachi, I noticed that the videos that are particularly popular are the videos where I discuss what instruments to buy for a beginner. And I'm sure there are many of you who are interested in playing the Shinobue, maybe for your taiko group, and who also have this question of what is a good instrument, how much do you have to spend, and is it really worth the extra expense of buying a very expensive instrument. So what is the difference between a shinobue that costs around maybe 10 to 15 euros, like this, and a professional bamboo shinobue that costs around 350 euros, say. The good news is that shinobue are not as expensive as shakuhachi, not by a long shot. And as with all instruments and most things in life, um, you get what you pay for. So if you pay for a 10 euro or a 15 euro shinobue, you get one for that money. And if you spend a thousand euro on a shinobue, you get a really, really nice one. One of the main differences is that the cheaper shinobue are usually a bit more difficult to play and they don't have quite as nice a sound. While you may not be concerned with the sound at the beginning so much, the problem is that um, if you buy a cheap instrument at the beginning, just to try out if this is something for you that you want to pursue, you have the problem that this is an instrument that is actually not that easy to play and that if you have more experience would actually be more suitable to your skills. But of course, if you just start out, you don't want to spend 100 euros, 200 euros, 1000 euros on an instrument. So the question is, is there a middle ground? So maybe there is a solution where you can spend a bit more and have a good instrument suitable for a beginner. So I'll go through my collection of Shinobue, which is not very extensive. So these are all the instruments that I have. And um, this one actually is on loan from the dojo. So this is not my own instrument. Um, but I got this for this video um, just in order to show you what you can get um, in the very cheap price segment as well. Quick overview. This is a cheap plastic Shinobue that costs around uh, 12 euros uh, at the current exchange rate. This is a new model, which is a combination of bamboo scraps and bamboo dust together with some glass fiber to um, make the structure. And this is around uh, 33 euros. <laughs> then um, we have a slightly simpler bamboo shakuhachi. This is around 150, 200 euros, something like that. And then we have a high-end shinobue. This one is around 350 euros. You may also have noticed that uh, the shinobue that I have are of different lengths. So I have three... I have three shinobue that are number eight flutes. I have one shinobue that is a number six flute and one flute that is a number three flute. But for the purposes of this video, even though the length actually does affect the sound quality and the playability of the instrument as well, but for the purposes of this video, I just ignore the difference in length. So to start at the low end of the spectrum, this flute here has been around for a long, long time. This has been a recommendation for beginners because it is really cheap. It's around 12 euros at the current exchange rate. If you buy it from the Mejiro shop in Tokyo, uh, Mejiro is a shop that specializes in bamboo flutes, mostly shakuhachi, but they also have a lot of shinobue as there as well. So this is around uh, 12 euros. And what you get is um, a solid instrument that is made out of plastic. Um, the good thing about plastic is that it is very cheap, <laughs> but also that in contrast to the real bamboo shinobue, you don't have any urushi inside. So if you saw my first video, um, there is a lacquer inside, this is called urushi or G, and one of the main ingredients in this is poison ivy and some people have an allergic reaction to it. So it's actually difficult for some people to use these flutes. So no problems on this flute. Another big advantage of the plastic flutes, they don't crack, they don't split. Um, bamboo sh shinobue are made of bamboo, so from a natural material and bamboo has a tendency or always has the danger of cracking along the fibers. So no problems here. 
So this would be your first choice. So let me play a few notes so that you get an impression of how it sounds. When I started out, I tried to play on this flute and I must say I found it really hard as a beginner to produce a sound on this flute. I still haven't really figured out what the reason is. Maybe one reason is that the, um, the blowing edge here, the material is quite thick and maybe it's difficult to produce an airstream that splits nicely in this uh, on this thick wall but i don't know this is really just pure speculation on my part so i found this really difficult and i was very very glad once i got my first bamboo shinobue because it was really a lot easier to play on that flute so this is one thing uh, you should consider and if you make your first tries on this flute don't be discouraged too quickly um, because it is more difficult and maybe you have a chance of playing a bamboo flute at a point and see if it's really so difficult to play in the shinobue because actually it's not really so um, just as an insider tip um, don't tell anybody else okay so the second flute that I have here is a new model so I don't think this has been on the market very long this is called Tamaki this is the name of this model and the maker is Rippe and he is a very good Shinobue maker he is one of the top Shinobue makers in Japan in fact um, oh and uh, Actually, so this is also a Dippe Shinobue. This, of course, is a bamboo flute. We'll get to that one later. I think from, from what you can see, I don't think there is any difference in terms of size of holes, for example, or the placement of the holes. Well, placement of the holes maybe is not so surprising because that directly affects the tuning, obviously. Um, but also, everything else it is a bit thicker than my bamboo instrument and the wall also is a bit thicker so i think those really are the main differences and of course the material is different this is made from bamboo dust or bamboo scraps and then this is mixed with glass fiber so this produces a resin and this is very durable so just like the plastic shinobue um, this is cheaper to make um, and I'm assuming you can just mass produce them whereas bamboo shinobue are always individual instruments because every piece of bamboo is different so the maker has to make each instrument individually um, whereas I'm assuming uh, these ones can just be mass produced so that's definitely one big factor why these are a lot cheaper the current conversion rate this is around 33 euros so uh, quite a lot cheaper than most bamboo shinobue let me give you a quick demonstration here as well. Um, depending on how good your speakers are or if you're listening on headphones maybe you can hear that the sound quality actually is a lot nicer um, this flute I find it sounds very plasticky actually uh, this one already sounds closer to a Shinobue at least compared to this one in terms of playability uh, this flute is also easier i find easier to play the instrument is more responsive and you don't need to be quite so precise uh, at the point that your airstream hits the utaguchi the blowing edge in order to produce a good sound or to produce any sound at all i think this may be a really good alternative for a beginner but if you're cash strapped <laughs> this is three times the price that you play for the plastic shinobui 
then for the next price segment, um, I have these two flutes here, which um, incidentally are my number six flute and my number three flute, but this does not really matter at this point. Um, this one is the house brand by Mejiro, the shop that I mentioned in Tokyo. They also make Shinobue, they have their own brand of Shinobue. This one is the house brand of Miyamoto Unusoke Shoten. Uh, the taiko players among you may recognize the name. This is a famous taiko maker and taiko shop also in Tokyo. And they also sell many, many Shinobue. They have a really great selection of Shinobue as well. So if you're ever in Tokyo, go to Miyamoto, go to Mejiro. Uh, it's definitely worth the trip. Um, and the good thing about these is that they are made of uh, bamboo. The quality is really good and they are not too expensive. For a beginner, these would also be a really good choice. Um, when I this actually is my very first Shinobue. I got this around 10 years ago and you can see it's still in good condition, no problems. And as you can see, it has bindings um, at both ends. This is the so-called uh, Tenchi style, having bindings at the earth and at the heavens. And uh, so both of these are made in this way. So these bindings help prevent cracking of the fruit. Um, and it's in particular, if you have to handle your Shinobue in a bit more rough conditions, maybe touring or gigging or something like that, um, it's probably a good idea to, to try to get this type of Shinobue. However, you can also get Shinobue that don't have any bindings and they are perfectly good instruments as well. And it doesn't really affect the sound in any way and they're quite a lot cheaper. So flutes like these from Mejiro or from Miyamoto, they are say around something like 200 euros, just to give you a general idea. They may be a bit cheaper, maybe a bit more expensive, but that's the general price that you pay for these flutes. However, if you take a model that doesn't have these bindings, you pay about half of that. So the current price again at Mejiro. I only went to Mejiro's site because they usually have quite representative prices. The price on the Mejiro site for their house brand that doesn't have the bindings is 90 euros at the moment. So about half of what you pay for this model here. And um, I think these are really nice flutes. So uh, in terms of playability, uh, you can find nicer flutes that are a bit easier to play. You can find flutes that have a slightly nicer sound, but these already are really nice flutes. And I don't think, to be honest, that if you have a serious interest in wanting to play Shinobue, that that should be an obstacle to getting a nice flute. Let me give you a quick demonstration. Uh, keep in mind, these flutes are a bit longer than the other ones that I have. So this was the one from Mejiro. This is the Miyamoto house brand. So you will find that this flute has a more mellow tone, um, a nicer tone maybe if you <laughs> find Shinobui on the shrill side, which many people do. Um, but the main reason for that is that this is a number three flute, whereas the Mejiro flute that I was just playing is a number six flute.
So lower flutes have a smoother tone, have a softer tone. But I also played uh, different lengths of this type of flute, so a number six, number eight flute, and uh, they compare pretty much to the Majuro flute. Um, it's just personal preference, which sound you prefer. So there is one more flute, uh, which I already showed you before. This is a flute by Repe, the maker, who also makes this new type, this Tamaki flute. These are really nice Shinobue. I'm sure you can spend more on Shinobue if you like, but um, something like 350 euros is already something that gives you a top grade Shinobue. Um, if you want a longer flute and more specialized bamboo, it can go up to maybe a thousand euros or something like that. But for Shinobue, that's pretty much the top price that you pay for flutes. So this is also made from bamboo, obviously, and it also has the Tenchi Maki bindings. In terms of that, it is the same type of Shinobue as the ones that I just played. What you get from flutes like this is many two things. One is that they are really, really nicely tuned. So for the other two flutes, I need to make some slight adjustments for the pitch for certain notes, which is no big deal and you get used to it and it's just part of playing bamboo instruments anyway. But if you have a flute like this, then uh, there is much less need for that. That's the one thing. The other thing is the sound quality, the tone that you get from the flute. Um, this is nicer here on this flute as well. Um, but to be honest, I'm talking to beginners, I think, mostly in this video. So to be honest, for a beginner, I don't think it's really worth the expense because you wouldn't be able to make use of this difference in sound anyway. Plus, I found that sometimes this flute actually is also slightly harder to play than the other bamboo shinobue that I have. But this is really very nice. So, sound demonstration. So I find this has a clearer tone than the bamboo shinobue that I have, which is very nice. Uh, shinobue already have quite a rough tone anyway, so it's nice to have a flute that you can play quite cleanly without too much effort, because making a tone rougher on a bamboo instrument is always an option, whereas making the tone cleaner requires a lot of practice, <laughs> a lot of skill, and also um, a much better instrument even to make a tiny change towards the direction of having a more clear sound. Okay, so those are the flutes that I have. Um, those are my thoughts um, about these flutes. As I said at the outset, you get what you pay for. So um, it's perfectly fine to start with a plastic shinobue um, and it's possible, it's absolutely possible. <laughs> it's however a bit more difficult. I think using this Tamaki Shinobue is much easier for a beginner in particular because tone production is much easier, which is the main stumbling block for any beginner. So um, I highly recommend this for a beginner if you don't want to spend the money for a bamboo shag. I'm always saying bamboo shakuachi instead of bamboo Shinobue. That's why there are so many cuts in the video. <laughs> Sorry, so I talk about Chakwachi way more than I talk about Shinobu. Okay, so um, uh, if you can spend the money on a bamboo Shinobu, uh, even on a simple one, so even one without bindings from uh, Mejiro Miyamoto, something like that, and you can spend the 90 euros, 100 euros, um, I think that's a really good investment too, because the bamboo Shinobu are really quite a bit easier to play, in particular for beginners, if you don't have developed your skill so much yet. But the Tamaki, I think, is a really nice flute for beginners too. And it's just about 
maybe a third of the price. So that's a strong argument as well. Plus it's indestructible, as I already said. So maybe for touring life, this is actually a good flute. It may be, I don't know. I have not tried it yet. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Shinobue. I hope you found this useful if you're thinking about starting to play the instrument. As always, if you have other ideas, if you have other experiences, if you know of any other makers that make good flutes that are suitable for beginners, or if you have other professional makers that make really top-notch instruments and that maker is your favorite, please let me know as always in the comments. I highly appreciate it. Um, I read all the comments and at the moment my channel is not so big, so I actually respond to all the comments as well. <laughs> so that's a bonus if you comment on one of my videos. Um, other than that, uh, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, if you liked it. And if you find these videos interesting, I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.